State Representative Warren Kampf gave us some insight into the state budget approval process during a recent legislative report. So every year in Pennsylvania, we adopt a state budget. Um, and uh, by law, we have to do that by the end of June. So uh, typically the, the governor starts the process with a budget proposal. Uh, the governor made an address to the General Assembly, a, a speech, uh, and with that in February, he delivered um, his executive budget to us. A great big thick book and a, a DVD that reduces it uh, you know, to an electronic version. Um, and then for three weeks, by tradition, uh, all of the cabinet secretaries, the larger agency heads, and the secretary of the budget, uh, who's sort of his, the governor's right-hand budget person, uh, come before the House and the Senate Appropriations Committees. Uh, we just finished that process in the, in the House. Um, it's about three weeks of, of testimony. Members uh, of the legislature ask questions. Um, we usually have a, a briefing beforehand by our staff on, on each executive department's uh, budget request so that our, our questions can be focused on that. Um, and so that's essentially the process. After that, uh, typically a, a budget bill begins in the House. Um, we will probably this week take a couple of votes just to um, ready uh, the budget bill. But um, my own experience is over the last uh, uh, six years as a House member uh, that usually the budget is not adopted until right up next to the the June 30th deadline. There's plenty of meetings and conversations and discussions between now and then, uh, but that's usually the way it works.